Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. He has a haircut. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for pointing that out. Hey, somebody else would point it out if I didn't. Pointed out my Let haircut very quickly. Let the world point things out. Whatever. Thanks. Anyways, we have a new box. The Love With Food box. Brian actually ordered this one. Uh, so well, we, a viewer suggested this box. Well, you're the one that went and ordered I it. I looked though. into it and went ahead and ordered it. It's in the $20 a month range for the box that we've got, but they have multiple levels. I think there's a 10, a 20, and a 30. They also have a coupon where you get it like half off for the first month. Which we took advantage of. And if you review the products, you get points to spend in their store. Yes, you do. I don't know if this counts. I think you actually have to go on the website and review them. Directly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, first, we actually have a hot chocolate. This is the Chocola Chocolatier Monbana Chocolat Salon de Thé. Bite me, you read it! Uh, Chocolat Salon de Thé. 32% de cacao. Why are you reading the French side? Oh, it's only got a French side. Let's get some English on the back at least. It is a traditional chocolate drink. If there had been English on it, I'd have found it. Well, there is some English on it, but just at the bottom. It smells like cocoa powder. Insufferable bite. I try. I know. Does it mix well? It seems to be mixing alright, but it looks to be like thin. It's more of a. It's not a Swiss miss. I suppose. Oh, you were specifically supposed to make it with milk. <laughs> Well, shit. That may be the problem. Whatever. We're going to deal with it with water and see how, I'm sure how it goes. Be. I'm sure it'll just be less rich and not quite as pleasing. Well, we have another one that we can mix in with milk later if we're dying, too. It honestly tastes like dark chocolate, hot chocolate, like with very little sugar in it. Well, I put sugar in mine anyway, so... I'm just saying, it's very non-sugary. It's very dark. It's only 32%, but... It's just for a dark chocolate that for a hot chocolate that's really dark though. That's true. Alright, so I pulled that out so that we could make it. But it also comes with a Vitacost little booklet, which you can get more natural food and beauty items from there. Most of the stuff you get in here you can get from Vitacost too. You don't care, I was just telling people what it's in it. This is the Happy Go Lucky box, apparently, although it doesn't say what comes with it on the back, which is kind of sad. So we'll try this first the organic chickpea puffs and hip peas, vegan white cheddar. Hip peas. Oh, hip peas. I'm surprised you ordered something like this. You're so not for organic stuff at all. Well, you see. Every box you buy feeds other people around the world. That that's eat. right. There's there's a charity portion of the of this box, that, and that's that's kind of partially why I got it. Plus, you know, I love snack foods. And they're supposed to be healthier. I don't taste like anything. No one tastes like something. But whatever vegans made this, don't remember what cheese actually tastes like. That's just true. It tastes like a plain cheese. Plain puff. Kind of a, yeah, plain Cheeto. Like a Cheeto with nothing on it. I mean, That's kind of nasty, they're actually. not awful. They're like some salt on them or something, but. These are the ones that I was excited about. Clearly, they've. It's been too long since this person has had cheese. Let's see, this is the Route 11 potato chips in dill pickle. Mo, I am not giving you anything. Oh, it's really hard to get. I have smoke. kind of a love-hate relationship. Yeah, with if I buy them, chips. he eats all of them. I hate them, but I will eat every single one of them. Tastes like a dill pickle chip. It smells like a dill pickle chip. It's a kettle chip texture, though. Ooh, here's a kettle chip. I really like kettle chips. It's wheat and gluten-free. Because, you know, there's so many potatoes with wheat and gluten in them. It's another thing he hates. It's just when they don't advertise. Some, don't advertise that something is gluten free that never had gluten in it to start with. Okay, we actually got it's two good. of these. I will set one aside. But it is the Wise Amer Classic American Snack Popcorn, 30% reduced fat and sea salt flavor. 
They both appear to be in the sea salt flavor. Well, at least it's not vegan cheddar. It doesn't taste like cheese at all. And that don't taste like anything either. It's air popped popcorn with salt on it. It tastes like air popped popcorn with salt on it. Okay, maybe in my opinion, popcorn should taste like something. It's not terrible or anything, but... This is the Ruger Squared. Only 70 calories per bag. It's a wafer, it's a waffle, vanilla cream filled. It's a waffle cookie, or wafer cookie. A waffle wafer cookie? A wafely wafer cookie? I got nothing. Let's find out. I should probably just each break a piece off of that. Yeah. It's a waffle. It's a wafer cookie, but it's shaped like a waffle. It's a damn wafer cookie. Its main ingredient is palm fruit oil. Not not flour. Flour is second on the list. Palm fruit oil is number one. What the heck is palm fruit oil? Oil from a palm fruit. That's helpful. It's okay. Tastes like a wafer cookie. Tastes like a wafer cookie without a whole lot of sugar in it. See, this is just pandering. These are organic emoji shaped chocolate chip or chocolate cookies. You're I don't want to buy things that are shaped like emojis. You're just a hater of the emoji. Yes, because back in my day, yes, I'm going to go a little back in my day on you. They were called emoticons. All right, Grandpa. I'm fine with that. Here, have a cookie shaped like something stupid. I think they're all shaped like the same. No, no, they're different. It's like an Oreo cookie. It's just like a cookie, a cookie bar. Oreo. It's, it's, it's good, but... Only 120 calories per pack. That's not too bad. They're good, but they're shaped like something stupid, and the makers of it should feel bad for pandering. This is 18 rabbits, date, pecan, and coconuts, uh, grain bar thingy. Well, it doesn't say what it is, but I don't know exactly what they call them. It looks like a granola bar. They are granola bar. It is non-GMO verified and no refined sugars, gluten free. But I love refined sugars and GMOs. Well, you're not supposed to have as much refined sugars now anyway. I'm just not concerned about it being gluten-free, as I don't have celiac disease. Okay, looks like a soft, kind of sticky granola. Pretty good. I can taste the date. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's a good granola bar, but... It's a granola bar. And it's still 200 calories for this one bar. It's a granola bar. It's supposed to be packed with calories. Yeah, no, you use it they when you like go dense. hiking. Calorie dance. We have some Ch Tory and Howard chewy fruities or s assorted flavors of organic candy chews. You gotta get close. People can't read. If I can't read it on the small screen, they can't read it on the large screen. Do you want to do this? No. No, I actually I don't. I wonder what the flavors are. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> flavors. Pomegranate and nectarine. Meyer lemon and raspberry. Blood orange and honey. Some of those actually sound good. What's a Meyer lemon? A Meyer lemon. What's a Meyer lemon? Some type of lemon. Here, have a Meyer lemon and raspberry. Looks like a starburst. I'll have a blood orange and honey. But it's a fruit chew. It probably is basically a starburst. These things are stuck. We're going to get closer. Like Actually, it feels more like a mountain later, just feeling it. I don't really care for now. <laughs> nope, it's closer to a starburst. Good. Oh, holy crap, that's chewy. The blood orange and honey is really good. Actually, it's a Meyer lemon, lemon and raspberry. It's pretty good. Hmm. Pick out the other one. What about pomegranate and nectarines? I like pomegranates and nectarines. 
still not entirely certain why nectarines are a different fruit than peaches, but whatever. Peach. Pomegranate and nectarine. It's got actually a good bit of pomegranate flavor to it. Those are really good. They stick really hard to the package though. Mm -hmm. Here, you set this one up. Okay. And I will talk about the Enstrom Almond Toffee Milk Chocolate. Is that close enough for you? Yeah, yeah that looks good. Doesn't say the calories on this one. But we use the MyFitnessPal app. I lied, it does say it. it's 110 calories. And if you scan them, and in that app, if you scan this right here, it'll pull up calories and everything for you. No, nope, we are not being paid by the MyFitnessPal app. I oh, hell no. Were. Totally not sponsored. So these are veggie chips. Which we have. And they come with like a go-gurt thing of, of hummus. What's the name of them? Wild Garden? Wild Garden Snack Box to Go. Ah! Oh wait, we never tried the thing you had. Which one do you want to do first? I don't care. We'll try the bar first. Yeah. The veggie chips are good, but they're, they're veggie chips. You can break it apart. But I like that our app, even if it doesn't necessarily have yeah. Calories and stuff on there. We can scan the barcode and pull all that up. Ooh, almond toffee. I love toffee. Here, just bite off your portion. This is what it looks like on the inside. I really do love toffee. It's like the best part of a Heath bar. That is really good. And there's another one in here. Excellent. Super good. Super good. This is the bomb. This has been the best thing in the box. Absolutely. But the fruit chews were very good too. As was the kettle chips. And the cookies were good. Really, it's the popcorn that was lame and then the vegan cheddar cheese. We started cookies. off bad. Yeah. Okay. So That is hella sweet though. So this comes with a little gogurt pouch of hummus. Oh, I'm sorry, not hummus. Hummus dip, which I'm sure for legal reasons they have to say is Probably legally distinct. Calories. From hummus. Probably higher in calories. Possibly. Here, have some hummus dip on a veggie chip. Here is what the hummus looks like. It doesn't look much like hummus. Well, it, it sort of looks like hummus, but... Mm. It doesn't look quite like hummus. It's like a not very smooth hummus. It's a good flavor hummus, though. A lot, of, a lot of tahini in it. That's really good. The hummus is not bad. Okay, yeah. finally... We have some. There are apparently eight flavors. Yeah. Which, that's kind of cool. We have espresso candy and gum. I think our dog just got a veggie chip. Still good. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, where are we at? An espresso candy, the original coffee candy, and gum. This is not gum. This is gum. Gotcha. I mean, this candy's probably gonna take a while. You want one of us to try the candy, the other one to try the gum? Sure. I'm I've just, already partially opened to this one, so. I'd rather the candy than the gum. That's why I handed it to you. I know you're not a gum chewer. I am. Okay. This is the gum. So it looks like a Werther's. I actually eat those a lot. Werther's or chocolate Werther's or coffee Werther's. It's tree hugger, all natural bubble gum. There's a lot of coffee in that. It's called espresso candy. Yeah. This literally tastes like a gumball you get out of a gumball machine. Probably yes. So the coffee candy, very heavy in the coffee flavor. Not in a bad way, but in a, if you don't like coffee, I wouldn't suggest it kind of way. It literally says espresso candy. I don't know why you would get confused. Oh, I'm not confused. But a lot of things don't really deliver on their promise. This delivers on the promise of espresso. All right, so that is it. Thank you guys for chewing it. This gum has a weird texture. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.